up y'all i just got my hair cut um this is a new camera and a new lens so the quality should be better um the close-up shots i was looking at as i was like recording them from this morning they look really good um this is a whole new camera whole new this is a sony zv e10 and this is a viltrox 20 millimeter lens anyway i'm trying to get so i was gonna talk to y'all on the way to get in my haircut but i guess because of the size of the camera and then the how the lens is formatted it was really dark and it was like y'all was like all up in my face so <laughs> there was like the framing it was like you could only see my face like here it was super dark like i don't know what was going on um but anyway i have a spare camera mount and um the adhesive i just gotta run to target right quick and get like some wipes to wipe it down um alcohol wipes to make sure it's clean so it can stick and then we can go back to the car talks because i know some of y'all really enjoy um when i be having my car talks <laughs> when i be just in here running my mouth but um yeah, we gotta hit Best Buy right quick. I need to do uh I need a new um external SSD. So I've been remember I said my computer is old and my videos are real choppy. So turns out it's not because my computer. Because my computer runs fine. Like I can do um internet, I can like play games, I can watch videos, I can stream. No issues. But as soon as I try to edit a 4K video on Final Cut, nah, dead. It takes me three or four hours to edit a 4K video. And that's not even like trying to do anything like extravagant. My vlogs are very simple, as y'all see. That's just me literally like cutting, adding transitions, adding text. That's how difficult. And honestly, vlogging, I enjoy vlogging, but I also enjoy editing. And because my editing um, experience has been so terrible with this old hard drive, it's a big reason why I haven't been vlogging. I haven't been uploading recently. When you're editing on a on like a slow system, a slow process, it completely just kills the creative process it completely kills all the fun of editing it just kills your whole vibe when you're trying to edit and the shit is not loading like it's choppy you can't see certain frames the you know system is going in and out so fingers crossed that this ssd will alleviate all of that and we can get back to weekly vlogs if honestly if the ssd experience is really up to par we maybe can go to two videos a week that's what i'm really like hoping for is two videos a week just because i feel like one video a week on the weekends of just me doing shit during the weekends i i have so much more to offer to y'all offer to y'all than that i have so much more creativity inside me so much more creative ideas to where i should be filming you know picking up the camera damn near every day i'm just like i just have always things going in my mind but anyway um yeah i'm gonna see y'all at best buy look at this okay this is the ssds <laughs> y'all look why every single one empty y'all see my reflection hold on there we go empty the guy said i can try to go to geek squad so let's walk over there right quick
What's up, y'all? I'm just coming back to close out the video. Um, yeah, so honestly, I know I said that the reason why I haven't been filming is because, like, my slow computer. It's part of that, but also I think I've just been really in my head lately about my content. Um, I'll be honest, hitting a thousand on YouTube was a big big goal for a big for a really long time and i'm really glad that i did that so thank y'all for watching and sharing and liking and subscribing and all that um and continue to like share and subscribe don't stop just because we hit a thousand the next goal is two thousand then three then you know five ten fifteen all that um there's no goal there's like it's unlimited so um but a major thing that's kind of like a recurring thing with me I was just really in my head about my content um, is really discouraging on apps like Instagram or well, especially Instagram to have to always like feed into the algorithm and like always try to make content that is like shareable and engaging and kind of like algorithm bait for lack of a better word. But just like making stuff that's going to be picked up and like pushed out by the algorithm. Um, and it's frustrating to see like your work not pay off in the same way that other people are maybe like getting tens of thousands of followers, you know, off like a reel that blew up. Um, so I kind of was getting like, OK, why am I even like still trying on instagram like i got to the point where i was like i'm gonna just ditch instagram and just maybe focus on youtube and maybe tiktok a little bit but then i was like no that's not even like me to just say like fuck it and like throw in the towel it's more of like my thing to be like well i'm gonna just do it my way which is what i'm doing now i'm just doing my content that i like um i think i've seen a really good response when i'm just like authentically me like just being mike and i actually um if you're into like astrology so i was kind of just looking at some videos and reading some stuff um just like some readings and like some like general horoscope type things for me and my chart and kind of a recurring theme was things do not come easy for me which is true most things that I've had have not like fallen into like I'm not a very lucky person I don't think I think things come to me when I put in work and effort and that's just always kind of been the case as long as I can remember I've never had nothing that's like an overnight or like a quick success it always takes like weeks months years for me to like get the fruits of my labor which I'm, I've come to terms with. That's just like my journey in life. I'm, things don't come easy for me. They, they just require a lot more effort from me, which I guess that makes it that much sweeter when I get the reward after all those weeks, months, years of putting in effort. Um, but back to the horoscope thing, yeah, it, it was just like things don't come easy for you, which is true. And then also... I get rewarded the most when I show up as my most authentic self. And I've been, at first I was like, well, what does that even mean? Like, you know, I didn't understand um, being rewarded just for showing up as myself. Like, what does that mean? Because I'm so used to, like we said, um, having to put in so much work and effort. But what that really means is just being Mike, 
and just um, sharing my interests and talking about, you know, my life and just like connecting, just genuine connections and letting my guard down, which is something I struggle with on a daily basis, but just letting my guard down and just being Mike, just being Mike, just being me is going to be most rewarding, not only externally in terms of like getting things and getting recognition and, you know, having that acknowledgement, but also rewarding internally where it's like I'm authentically being Mike and being me. So this is kind of like an intro to, I just, I'm calling it my season of being, just, just a season of being. I'm just being Mike. I'm just being me. And that means I'm doing what feels good and what feels right. Um, not being so hard on myself like I have a tendency to do. Not try to box myself in. Not try to make myself live up to any internal or external expectations. It's just being Mike. A, a state of, a season of being. Just being me. So, just wanted to kind of give a little bit of that. So, but I mean, I don't want to unload all that <laughs> right now. Um, just wanted to hop on and close the video out and kind of give a little bit more insight, a little bit more background into what's going through this mind, going through my head, <laughs> this mind of mine. Um, but yeah, all right, y'all know the drill. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your followers, with your friends, with whoever just share the video let's grow this family let's grow to 2000 subscribers let's grow to 2 million billion subscribers but um yeah that's it y'all i'll see y'all in the next one